What's up guys, Garrett here with self Taught Dev. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how my job has been. Uh, I've been there about two months now. I started back on, was this December? There it is, uh, December 3rd. So it's been about two, two, almost two and a half months now. I tried to make this video last Monday, but kept getting screwed up. So we're gonna do it right this time. So yeah, uh, when I first got the job back, uh, I think I got it, yeah, he called me like November, in near the end of November and I put him a two weeks notice at TD Ameritrade and like a couple days before like the this Wednesday I started this Monday like this Wednesday I started freaking out inside I had imposter syndrome I was like oh my gosh I'm not gonna be able to do this I'm gonna get fired and I'm gonna have a one grand a month rent apartment and no money to pay for it and that's kind of it's cheap in Dallas so just one in one month at a be in there but anyway um but yeah then mm, first day of the job came around um i didn't really know what to expect i thought i was just going to get like a basically going to get like a wire design from a or a, a template from a designer or a mock-up from a designer and they're gonna be like all right build this and i'd have to pull up adam and make an index.html uh, styles.css link it together and just get coding like that and I thought it was gonna be just like hard coding it like that, but it's not, it's way easier than that. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy it's way easier than that. Um, if you saw the last video, we use WordPress, lets you kind of drag and drop templates, and it just makes it so much easier and so much faster. Still gotta do a lot of code though, so still get to learn a lot. So since the December 3rd, I've made three sites so far. Uh, the second one, I had, the second one I kind of split with Marvin. Uh, we'll talk about that in a sec though. So the first one here is Tech2Bit. Um, this is the first site I got, it was kind of intense, but I learned how to do, uh, what is this called, uh, waypoints. Um, and then I learned a lot more about keyframe animations. I hadn't really messed with those too much before I started this job. I learned a little bit about them, but this kind of drilled down in my head. So. I used animations to make these slide in, and then as you scroll down, waypoints are triggered, and it makes these slide in too. And then these, if you scroll over them, they move out, and that looks really cool too. And then these buttons, Marvin kinda helped me figure this out, cause I was struggling with it, but they kinda like slide over, and the buttons are really cool too. But this is the first site, it took, um, so usually what happens, that we get a new client, they talk with designers. This is my, what I think happens. I don't know if this is 100% accurate, but we get a new client. Um, they basically talk with the designers. The designer comes up with like a mood board and like basically makes their website on paper. And as long as the client approves it, they send it over to the, the dev department. We build it out for them. And usually starts off with like four or five pages. So, and they'll give us like a two weeks to build those four or five pages. So that'll be like the home page, the about us page, um, which is this one, the process page, which is usually just like kind of what the company, like their process. Um, and then not the services, usually the contact us page is one we do too with like the start. And then with these guys, tech to bit, we did the careers page as well. So usually get about two weeks to make those five pages um, it's usually more than the five pages over two weeks you usually get the five pages done within about a week and then you start working on like landing pages or something else um, but yeah this is the first one and then after we're done with it in dev we send it back to the client I mean I send it over the the designers make sure they think it looks good the designers send it to the client client approves it and then we make it go live to their domain name Oh my gosh, cat, what are you doing? He's so annoying. All right, anyway, second website here, um, ISG. So this one Marvin kind of helped out a lot with. With this one, um, we had to use like pseudo elements. Marvin's the head of the dev department, like my manager. But we had to use pseudo elements to make these little triangles here. Um, I have my second screen, and I'm not recording that, but oh well. Yeah, so there's little triangles there. And then we had to animate these little like down arrows so you can see it's kind of like animating there um, Marvin did most of the classes on this one and then I just had to go in and put it all together so 
Oh my gosh, that's not right. Oh, we're in the preview mode. Oh my gosh. WordPress preview does not render jQuery for some reason. So anything where I use jQuery is totally jacked up. Had me worried there for a sec. But that's the second site. Um, it's kind of the same as tech 2 bit um, Got like the basic ones here. I don't think we have the services page or the resources page done. But on that one, I learned a good bit about pseudo elements. We're going to fix this form because they hate the form. But they So this form's wrapped in an iframe, so I can't edit anything on this form. But they wanted to use it, and I put it on their form, and they saw it, and they're like, okay, well, this, this doesn't work. We want a different form now. So now we got to change that. And then right here, I learned how to use a lot of JavaScript. I used a jQuery plugin called... Um, I don't remember what it was called, but it basically makes the carousel effect for me. Just saved me a lot of code there. But anyway, last site here, uh, Stetson. This is the third one. Uh, this one I laid about a week to do because I don't know what happened, but I got the designs, I built it, and then apparently the client hadn't approved the mock-up designs yet, so they had to make some edits to those, and I had to go back and redo those site or the pages. And then on this one, I also had to do uh, more than just the five pages. So I had to do the home page, which is this. Uh, if you saw, it's got the, like the cool video. I'm really proud of this, where the dude kind of walks in, and then it cuts to another video after seven seconds, and he just kind of stands there, and he's still moving a little bit. So it's not like a still frame, but this is the home page, and these little lights flash, which is kind of cool too. So it's kind of like a neon light effect, and then these buttons. It's really it took me a while to figure out how to make the gradient background transition to transparent because for transitions you have to have like a start point and end point and if you're going from background to no background there's not really an, an end point so you had to kind of rig that a little bit but yeah we did the home page the about us page uh, the process page and these, I learned a lot about SVGs, like making this animate as I scrolled down the page here. And then we did the services page, which is kind of like all the services they offer. There's little, there's little buttons under here too. We just don't have those yet because those pages haven't been built. Uh, then their get in touch page, we use like snazzy maps, which kind of lets you customize Google Maps. So we're using Google Maps API and then snazzy maps to kind of color it so the road's yellow right there or green sorry get my colors mixed up uh, but yeah it lets you color the map and then also did the support page on this one and that's kind of basic and then there was a careers page that I did too so really did one two three four five six seven pages on this one and it was only supposed to be five uh, something just got mixed up in the the process there but those are the three sites I've done so far. Uh, they usually take about a week, maybe two to finish up. And aside from that, I've done a lot of landing pages. So like, uh, let me pull up Basecamp here. Tomorrow is a work from home day, so super excited about that. Um, yeah, I had some stuff to do today that I didn't get finished, but one of them is this cloud services thing. That's not what I wanted to talk about. This is it. Yeah, so this, is ISG we're still working on like a lot of their web page um, for some reason it's they've been working on their site for a year I think the clients just kind of slow to respond when we ask them stuff which is making it take a while and they just want the site to be fully functional and perfect before everything goes up so they want the background to look like this and I'm getting there I've edited it a little bit but I still got a good chunk of way to go um, but yeah I think that what else do I want to talk about so yeah it's just between the job is basically building websites like that or fixing small stuff like changing the way the blog page looks because it was just like a tiny square right here and then other blog posts on the right. So I had to kind of make the small picture a big picture, get rid of the blog post on the right. I'm basically just making it look like their old site for some reason. They like that better. Um, and then this install live chat. So I had to install this WordPress plugin and I got to call Adam tomorrow to get that installed and then cloud services this is like a templated landing page I had to build today I got most of it done we just need like this as an SVG so it scales up and doesn't look blurry and then something about a company video remarketing project that's due tomorrow so finish all that tomorrow
but that's pretty much how the job has been so far. I love it. It's, uh, I think it's, yep, my favorite job I've had so far. Um, we, I've said this in other videos, but we go downstairs and play Super Smash Bros for like an hour on break, and it's awesome. And everybody's a, everybody has really cool action figures. I want to get one. They're just like really expensive, but I'll probably get some eventually. So yeah, uh, if you have any other questions or need anything else, just let me know down in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, actually, also, I'm probably going to get a camera this weekend. Um, I kind of want to have my face in the bottom here so you can, like, see what I'm saying and see me make the videos a little bit more interactive, I guess. Honestly, I've just seen other YouTubers do it, and I like it. I don't like the just blank screen like this. So probably going to try to find a new camera. If you guys know anything about cameras um, and can recommend one where I can, like, record and stream at the same time, because it'd be cool if I could hook up to my computer and like street live stream on YouTube or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'll try and find one this weekend for you guys. All right, uh, we'll talk to you next time and peace.